Hello, I'm a BX Toy Cat, and welcome back to the video. So today I wanted to talk about something rather funny you might have seen on Twitter recently, especially if you follow me, because I retweeted it. It is a tweet from Notch uh, responding to a screenshot of current day Minecraft with a sad crying face emoji. And you might be curious as to how the man who originally had the vision for Minecraft, the man who originally created it and worked on it by himself for the longest time, became someone who like kind of criticizes how modern day Minecraft is. And that's something I figured I would address in today's video because the difference between Notch's original vision, even the uh, original version of the game that Notch made himself and how it is today is actually pretty stark and it's something you can see in the series of things he said about the game that I wanted to share with you all in this video. So if you do all enjoy seeing the difference between Notch's vision and where things are right now, like this video and let me know because it helps out the channel. And listen, you do like these source videos, again, even though there's like some serious stuff in there, it mostly is just kind of funny comments he makes here and there because Notch right now is kind of a billionaire. Because if you don't know, way back in the day, uh, you know, this is 2012, uh, Notch tweets out saying, anyway, my price is $2 billion. Give me $2 billion and I'll endorse your crap. And funnily enough, if you do know, when he did decide to sell Minecraft, uh, the price he sold it for was $2 2.5 billion dollars and although he didn't get all of that because his co-founders got some he got the vast majority of that Which means he made roughly 2 billion from the sale and it's kind of funny It looks like someone from the Microsoft team who decided like how much should we offer him clearly decided to look at this tweet And that's how they decided on the number again probably not seriously how it happens But it's always fun to imagine at the very least that was way back in 2014 and ever since then Notch has had zero role in Minecraft again Even a few years previous to that he wasn't really working on Minecraft He was just on the Minecraft team and like you know maybe do some Mojang business stuff But off that point he had a fish no role, so we could kind of comment from the outside again. Again, so not just such a you know famous developer because he made such a big game, but then after this point, he was commenting from the outside in, and it's kind of fascinating to see some of his tweets since then. So one of my favorite ones, for instance, is this one where someone uh, tweeted him and he says, "Please take back Minecraft. Microsoft is running it." And he responds saying, "Sure, I'll give back the fat stacks, complete freedom, and peace of mind, so I can be the one being accused of ruining Minecraft again." Again, it's it. And this one's just kind of saying like, "That's why I'm not dealing with it anymore." But he does still make a bunch of comments on other things, such as on the texture pack store. So this is one of the more like indirect and kind of less blunt comments that he made where someone responded uh, someone, someone responded to one of his tweets saying is this where I find the Minecraft texture packs you know jokingly or maybe they're just really confused but then he says no you're on Twitter now you need the in-game store or whatever Minecraft uses these days or like a torrent thing again suggesting that even though there's a Minecraft in-game store you should maybe torrent the Minecraft texture packs whatever that means but then uh, you know someone responds to him like saying how do you not know you created the game and he, can't, he responds to that saying kind of not my idea so uh, that's kind of fascinating because again it shows that something as simple as this is like like he's not he's not comfortable with the idea he really doesn't seem to like it from the passive aggressiveness of that whole thing and he doesn't really seem to be on board again you gotta bear in mind whenever he makes one of these comments like I'm pretty sure there's legal reasons why he can't just come out and entirely bash it but he does it in these very very subtle ways such as this next one right here where he, uh, you know uh, this was way back in April when they first announced Minecraft coins he says slash me turns in his grave so you know this is just a weird thing you know the phrase turning in your grave but no one exactly knew why so everyone increased a bunch of theories until someone said uh, it's the billionaire blues and he responded to that saying no it was an attempt to be discreet about my opinion of in-game currency in Minecraft. Because one of the things you've got to bear in mind is the Minecraft model that he, you know, pioneered with the Java version of the game, which again, not the primary version anymore, but the uh, the version of the game he pioneered was like, you pay for it once and uh, there's also a free trial and then everything else you can get from people around the web. And then the Minecraft coins was like, guess what? We're gonna make it look a little bit more like the App Store. He was really, you know, kind of displeased with that. He made a lot of like indirect statements about it because this is one of the big moments in Minecraft's history where it went from being kind of like, it's more of its original game to like, oh yeah, this new thing and this coins and they uh, you know they're bought in weirdly sized bundles so you need to overbuy it like uh, that was like a big thing and in response to that he wasn't too happy also uh, in response to someone else uh, tweeting him later on the month where he's like oh yeah Minecraft is still one of the top grossing apps on the Minecraft store he responded by saying that gambling makes more money than games could ever hope for and this is something where you really realize that again that previous comment is something that like maybe burns inside him because the thing about gambling in uh, especially in like app store games is it's always done in this micro form like oh yeah just 99 cents and you might get something you want and although there's no you know gambling of that form in Minecraft, so it's not in that a, a direct way, you can see the fact that Minecraft is climbing the store since implementing these Minecraft coins kind of hints that it's going in that same kind of way. The, the Again, his, his implication is that the more popular a game is and the more it's selling coins, but not selling the game itself, the more it's kind of feeding a gambling addiction. And uh, yeah, that's kind of, so again, I thought that was fascinating that he make a comment like that kind of brash, and it's not too relevant to the thing, but you might be able to see it. But then there's the final one. This is the one that, again, I, I laughed a lot at this because again, he's making a big point about Minecraft and then he gets responded to. This is where the crying face emoji story from earlier comes in because uh, so he tweets in response to someone there was a big like debate about this game journalist that couldn't play a game very well it was Cuphead and uh, in response to one of the big responses on that he says meanwhile Minecraft has almost no tutorial and did quite okay and he makes a, a really clever comment about how he had Minecraft with no tutorial and you know again it was a really successful game in spite of that because you don't need tutorials in games and then someone responds to him by uh, tweeting a, a picture of current day Minecraft so on the phone it looks like and uh, yeah as you can see right here it shows you how to move and it shows you how to jump 
like it, it explains what the arrow keys do and stuff. And basically that confirms there is a tutorial in Minecraft these days. And that is why Notch responded to a screenshot of Minecraft with a really sad crying face emoji. Because again, the, the way he made Minecraft, one of the cool things about it was the no tutorial thing. And there is a tutorial, uh, both, you know, a really serious tutorial on the console version, but also on this uh, Pocket Edition, it tells you literally how to move uh, on the screen. And that's something that I thought was really funny. So that is why, uh, that is the interesting relationship between Notch and um, I guess Minecraft as it is today. Uh, he's just a Swedish billionaire doing his whole, whole own thing. Every now and then when he comes to talk about games, the whole Minecraft thing comes up and it seems like he's more and more bitter about it. And you might be curious, like, why would Notch let something like this happen? Or like, you know, if he really doesn't like the game, why doesn't he tell them? Or why, you know, why did he sell the game to Microsoft if he didn't want it to be turned into something where it'd be an Xbox Live integration thing? And uh, the simple answer to that one is he did respond to all of this and uh, Son says like, I have a question. Why, w uh, why are you personally happy for selling it to Microsoft? It doesn't seem like you are. And he responds by just saying, I wanted to get away from Minecraft and I did. We went with whoever could make the simplest and fastest deal. And as it so turned out, that was Microsoft because Microsoft had tried to buy them like several times before. Microsoft really liked uh, Minecraft since the early days. That's why there was an Xbox 360 edition of the game very, very early on. It had exclusivity to it as well. Um, and that's why they decided to buy it and they tried to buy it for so long. And that's why eventually when Notch just wanted to get rid of the game way back in 2014 after the big server controversy, um, he just did. And the simplest and fastest deal with Microsoft. And that's why to this day, uh, Notch is still not necessarily happy with the direction of the game, but he does still just kind of like make his fun comments on it. And it's not like he really, really massively cares, but it is something that you got to keep in mind that like Minecraft has changed in the past eight years. It's uh, again, you can argue for the better or for the worse, but like the thing is, is the game is changing massively. The creative direction has changed. It's gone from being from this one man's vision to being to this company's vision. And uh, you know, there's going to be a lot of benefits of that. I'm sure the game has more development speed now than it did then in certain ways, at least. But then there's also the uh, downsides of that and all the things we've mentioned today. But I just thought it was kind of funny to go through this whole thing. Again, I laughed like quite a few times when I was reading that Notch tweet. Like I've gone through this like three or four times now and it still makes me giggle a little bit because there's something perfect about responding to someone's uh, point about video game and artistry or whatever uh, with a picture of their current game today. But with that said, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Like if you liked it because it helps out the channel a lot. Let's know you do like this whole video. Share if you really liked it and subscribe if you're new here because I make videos actually not too much like this one. But again, this was a little bit of a different thing, but I make videos every single day on my channel. And if you want to see some more stuff and learn about the history of more things, then I'll be doing that more in the future. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. Thank you.